guys welcome 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 we're back <sighs> to another edition of visually impaired <laughs> i'm your host lino87 and join with me my co-host my partner in crime mr wolf freak hello and uh welcome to visually impaired the show where we play visual novels uh, a very underrepresented genre of the video game world Probably. I mean, we sometimes play them. Sometimes we take two months off. I mean, uh, we do that uh, because real life happens. And by real life, I mean uh, me and my wife, we had a kid. Hey, congrats. Hey, thank you, thank you. Um, we are now parents, and it is literally the fucking scariest thing in the world. Uh, <laughs> um... It's been fun. He's he's cool. I mean, we don't really know him yet. He's still not talking. And, uh, but, 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 he is the most adorable thing in the world. And I was watching a stand-up comedian the other day, and he made it make sense. He's cute. Kids are adorable so that you don't murder them. <laughs> and due to my lack of sleep... <laughs> Uh, cause at this point, like, and you know what, we actually, we don't have that bad of a setup going. I do get a decent amount of sleep, but the first month has just been like catch sleep wherever you can kind of thing. Cause it really is just like your life revolves around him <laughs> and I'm not used to that at all. Like I don't, <laughs> I'm used to my wife being very ind independent kind of thing yeah and then we just kind of meet up you know like <laughs> to have something rely on you uh is is quite quite a different feeling <laughs> it's uh it's been fun though i i will say that he is never going to watch this show <laughs> uh, should we ever really get... yeah. what <laughs> <laughs> i feel like this is an appropriate content for him at least yet yeah. we'll wait till he's five you mean you mean, you mean the show where we're dating cat people is not not property for a toddler? And murdering our schoolmates, yeah. 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 Uh, but, uh, yeah, okay, so uh, there's that. Um, in the two months that we've been off, what have you been up to, Wolfie? Um, God, two months. Uh, I had a break in which, like, I don't know. I did some stuff. Well, I went to a furcon. I forget if we if we've talked since then. Uh, went to a furcon. It was kind of okay. Uh, then did a whole lot of almost nothing for like two weeks, and now it's been a couple weeks of school, which turns out um, twenty one credits is a lot. Yeah. So <laughs> yes, I've had. Very little free time and is, very, very little sleep. Is this for, like part of uh, your master's or is it a PhD? It is a doctorate program. Oh, it is shit. a it is a DPT, okay. uh, a doctor of physical therapy degree. Okay. So okay. in um, two and a half years from now, it's all going to work out. <laughs> it's going to be Dr. Wolfie. Dr. Wolfie. 
That's been the goal since the beginning. That's hot. <laughs> <It's> hot. <laughs> okay. No, it, it totally is. It's respectable and you know, you're gonna bring in all the furries. Oh god. And, oh, imagine could you is there an like such a demand for like a furry doctor. I bet we can make it happen. <laughs> well, there probably is. Let's be real. I, I mean, <laughs> it's the internet. Anything's possible. Yeah. Yeah. You just have to market it, right? Yeah. But do you want to? <laughs> do, you, do you want to market that? <laughs> if it's successful, why the fuck not? It's like the soul of the devil. <laughs> do it for less I mean fair uh, where's your baby cam baby is actually out of the house right now and by the way hi the shaman what's up lad the shamans uh, <laughs> you still haven't changed your name back it's cute <laughs> uh, he is gone the wife took the baby out of the house so that I can do this is like so nice of her because I could use a bit of a break. So he is, he is out the door. Uh, DBZ fighters. Dragon Ball. Isn't it Dragon Ball fighters with a Z? Is that how? Boo. Yeah. No baby cam. We're uh, for the sake of keeping his life private. Cause I know at some point in his life, he's going to blow up. Uh, <laughs> I might, I've actually been toying with the idea of creating a Twitter for him. And, I'm sorry. And, <laughs> uh, just so that I could, um, kind of like just create an account for him and like tweet through his eyes. Oh, God. Uh, including <laughs> such stories as how, like, he... Are you going to Are you gonna be that dad? Is that I, gonna I'm, be? I might. I might. Much how there's, like, Marty the dog. <laughs> there's going to be many live now. Uh, <laughs> I'm so... I feel bad for, <laughs> for your child. I know, right? He chose the wrong parents. My wife's you just... Know, you know, the first follower to uh, Mini Lido's Twitter is going to be Anya, right? Oh, yeah. No, for sure. <laughs> you know how bad that goes, right? No, it's totally <laughs> fine. He's he's a good hype man. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. No, we're not doing anything remotely for Chanisk on that Twitter page. Uh, but I would bring up such stories as like how he, he like he didn't really shit on me he sharded uh, <laughs> and then he kind of laughed about it as you do I mean if you've already done it what's the next step right uh, I'm still waiting okay so I guess like the common thing with having a kid is that moment where you pick him up and raise him above your head and you're like super happy and having fun and you know, making weird baby noises at them, and then they puke in your mouth. Uh, that's supposedly pretty common. A lot more common than I thought it was going to be, because I've had, like, four different people tell me, watch out. <laughs> uh, so I think I'm going to try and learn from all their mistakes and just not hold my child. <laughs> no, uh, no touchy? No touchy. No, you just sit in the rocker. It's fine. <laughs> Mine was in the <laughs> no, no, no puke play. It's, uh... It's a hard no. There's very few things I'll say no to. Puke play is one of them? Puke play is definitely one of them. We'll end it up there. Anyway, we're playing a game <laughs> called Hustle Cat. <laughs> uh, where in which we date cats, so I don't know how much this is going to be better uh, than where our current conversation was going. We've picked one of them, I, the quiet one, I forget her name. Mason, we uh, Mason? we are on we are on Mason route. Yes, okay. Uh, she is just to recap a little bit. Okay. Uh, Mason route or Mason is the chef at the cat cafe. The name of the cafe eludes me at this moment. Um, we'll call it cat she's cafe. Cafe for now. Uh, <laughs> she is the quiet type who's also insanely strong. Um, she's kind of the butch character. 
don't know. Butch? I okay. I mean, a little tomboyish, maybe, but like, I don't see her as being like overtly butch. Okay, we'll, we'll go tomboy. That's fine. Um, in her cat form, she is an orange tabby. She's quiet, so she's definitely into kinky shit. Yeah, that's that's how it works. The quieter you are, the more fucked up into the sexual deviancy. There you go. I mean, she seems to really not care that she's a cat. No. She doesn't give a shit. Like, it did not make an impact on her life whatsoever. <laughs> she's like, yeah, I'm a cat now. Whatever. Yeah, you're like, whatever. Fucking, I can make lemonade out of this. <laughs> Uh, okay, so uh, we're supposed to be narrating this. I have forgotten who I was narrating, and I lost the notepad that had it, so uh, bear with us. <laughs> I do remember I'm the uh, narrator. So we can start with that. Uh, I wake up on the couch with a book in my lap and a crick in my neck. When did I fall asleep? I don't even remember. Oh, so this is the day after we had Mason come over, right? Uh, sure. Yeah, there we go. I feel the warm love on this side. <laughs> Is that Mason? Nope, just Mochi. What are you doing, you sack of cat food? <laughs> Remember, you're supposed to be satanic with Mochi? Only when Mochi talks. Oh, my bad. <laughs> That's the real Mochi. <laughs> That's the real Mochi. <laughs> uh, he flops over, belly up, makes biscuits in the air at me. <laughs> Is, wait, is that really a thing? Making biscuits? Um, you know how cats need? Yes. Yeah, that's that's making this Oh, okay. Got it. I thought it meant... Uh, never mind. Uh, look at him mug for attention. But seriously, where did she go? She's not anywhere on the couch. Maybe she slept somewhere else. I unfold my creaky legs and look around. Mason? Hey! She's not in here. Peek into the bedroom. Not there either. What the hell? How would she leave? She can't open doors. I don't remember opening the door either. Didn't she, like, just sneak in anyways? Like, maybe she's just part rogue or something. No, we, uh, we opened the door for her. Hmm. Unless I slept a lot. Remember, we, like, stacked... We spent, like, half an hour stacking cans into a pyramid for no reason, and then Mason showed up. Oh, that's right. All of our <laughs> fresh ingredients. <laughs> We ended up making like, uh, some toast and soup or something. Like the main character was like, I need to clean this place up before Mason gets here. I want to make a good impression. And then we spent like half an hour stacking counts. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Meanwhile, pile of laundry. Oh no, the place is a fucking mess. <laughs> like, there is, uh, I think there's one route I've seen where we actually clean the place up. Mm -hmm. Um,. But no, otherwise, it's just disgusting. I see a flurry of movement in the corner of my eye. Is it her? No, just the tree branch outside the window. Oh, maybe that's how. Did she climb out the window? Why? It's way earlier than I usually get up, but I feel wide awake. There's no use going back to sleep while a certain cat chef is at large. Might as well go out for breakfast. Maybe I'll find her along the way. I shower and put her uh, and put her around the apartment. I try to think of where she could have gone. She's always got somewhere to be, so I guess it's wherever that is. It's not like she could have another job, right? Or like a secret date friend? Ooh, are we already getting jealous? Or maybe it's our crush. Obviously. Think back to what we said. Maybe she's in trouble, or causing trouble, or maybe. Me. Okay, I'm just throwing it out there. What if she's a part of a gang, a cat gang? <laughs> cat gang. <laughs> and like, either she's like second in command or like the leader of it, and she's like too cool for school. Do they? Uh, do they wear old timey jackets too? Yeah, I'm thinking like members only jackets. See, I was thinking, like, high school gang, like Letterman's. Oh, yeah, that would actually be even better. Big poofy ones. Yeah. <laughs> to cover their big poofy fur. <laughs> that can't be it. She's not like that. Either that or she goes to, like, cat orgies. Cat orgies. Ooh. It's, it's like, um... 
just a bunch of strays in like a back alley somewhere. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> I grew, I grew, were, you thinking, were you thinking more dignified or like? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't imagining it like being like a little window you go up block to the pay or anything like that. However, <laughs> I do remember happening that happening around my neighborhood when I was a kid? Just a cat orgy. Just a bunch of cats in heat, and that's all you can hear. It's, it's happening somewhere, you just don't know where. I can't say I've ever experienced that. <laughs> okay, I've revealed too much then. Let's continue. I got ready <laughs> at a grossly early time. Graves was right. Really, I'm getting used to the cursed day star or whatever that nerdy thing he called it. Mason's probably at the cafe doing prep, but I don't actually know if anyone's opened the floor yet or not. Might even beat Landry to work, assuming he didn't sleep there. I've got a key now, but it feels weird to just, like show up. What if Mason isn't there yet and it's just me and a bunch of cats? That's like Harry for Harry's fantasy right there? Uh, yes. <laughs> what if Graves is wandering around in his pajamas? I don't want to see that. I mean, I don't think I he mean, wears pajamas. Yes. <laughs> I think he just has like a permanent shadow around his crotch. He's that gothic and satanic i mean this is the steam release so <laughs> just a floating sensor bar <laughs> how is that even possible when they acknowledge it in game because this is the oh, type of game i would love that okay i'll kill time before i go in what donuts anyways jelly donuts oh no thank you for reminding <laughs> me of that place has the best donuts. I feel like I've had them recently, even though I haven't been here in a while. Maybe they're just so good it feels like it was only yesterday. The owner's absorbed in his own world of coffee in the newspaper. I feel like he has no soul. <laughs> He's just kind of looking like the soul is sucked out of his eyes. It's, everything is just... He's, he's been at this job for too long. It's, yeah, you can tell. He's like, somehow I just started owning this co or donut shop. I've been working just, here that long. I, I kept getting promoted, and eventually the owner was just like, you know what? I'm, I'm done. <laughs> and he gave me the keys. You can have my legacy. He's <laughs> like, oh, it's like a dude. <laughs> no, okay, no joke Dead. after. After, okay. So I won't go into detail of like labor or anything like that. However. <laughs> Ours took like a day and a half, <laughs> and, oh, God. and very little I'm sleep. So sorry. Very little sleep happened in that entire time. Partly because the bed they give you is high quality shit, and you know she's on the nice hospital bed, and she's passed out because they give her the good drugs, and <laughs> and. Uh, so this was literally me, like, the day after my kid was born, was, like, we had family from my side, family from her side all show up at the hospital, and it was, like, an all-day event where people just, like, were revolving door, coming in and, like, checking out the baby, and I slept through all of it. Like, <laughs> I literally just did not exist that day. Like, even, okay, so I guess even after he was born, which was, like, at one in the morning, we went into our new room where you, like, get to chill because, you know, a massacre happened in the last room. And, like, I guess Owen, our son, um, was crying, like, at the top of his lungs. I completely slept through it, and my wife, who's pretty much, you know, unable to move, uh, <laughs> had to, like, throw something at me. <laughs> Uh, to wake me up, which didn't, and then she called the nurse, and the nurse had to wake me up <laughs> to feed her baby, so I was like, alright, off to a good start already. <laughs> it took it took two people to wake you up, that's good. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, I know, it's awful. Uh, it was, like, I have never not slept that much before, and now 
my life consists of. Like, remember how I used to, I, I don't work early in the morning anymore, but, um, but I still am up by three in the morning to take care of my kid every day. So that's, <laughs> that's become my life, is I just wake up early now, no matter what. There's no reason not to wake up early. Uh, I just do it now, and I have a feeling that's going to be me the rest of my life. It's going to be you for at least a couple of years, I won't even lie. Yeah, and then once my kid's old enough to go sleep in his own bed, get up, and, you know, is sentient. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's true, but, like... <laughs> Uh, he's still gonna probably wake me up at like six in the morning to like have breakfast and shit. So I, I'm never gonna be normal again. Uh, no, uh, no normal scene until the teenage years. Right when they're sleeping in until noon. But by that point, this will be so ingrained in my head that I'll just be like, "Well, I guess I gotta like go to Home Depot or whatever." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> wow, are you are you already forty? Is that what's going on? <laughs> it's, it's happening. It's slowly but surely happening. I have bought a light switch dimmer, and that was my first major project. Do you know you know how to install it? Right? Not a clue. Luckily, I have my brother-in-law. <laughs> good, good fucking luck, dude. <laughs> yep. Uh, I am bribing him with a bottle of port so that he can spend five minutes talking down to me and then uh, doing what I asked him to do. I go to Home Depot? Dude, I go to Home Depot too. The thing, it's not going to Home Depot. It's tentatively planning years in advance that what you're going to do with your life is go to Home Depot at 6 a.m. That's it's, what I'm saying. It's the natural progression <laughs> in life. Super simply that I can do it. Well, come fly out here. And I will give you some beer, and then you can do that. Actually, this one. Okay, so I've looked at YouTube videos and read the instructions and all that, and I know what to do. However, um, where? Long story short, whoever did the light switches in here decided to hardwire them into the switches. So it's a little bit more complicated than just being like, oh, plug this one in here. Uh, I have to make sure that I don't blow the ground cable, like, the electricity out. Ah, yeah. you don't need a ground. That's fine. This one says I do? <laughs> you, you absolutely do. <laughs> so I'm going to go with... Yeah, so the switches are hardwired into the electrical system, like, into the cables, if that makes sense. Are they, are they like, soldered or some shit? No, they're in the in the switch itself like there's no like it looks like if i were to really oh it's not it's not one of the screw on things correct it's not like one where you wrap the cable around a screw tighten the screw and then that's it like these are legitimately into the switch themselves like into the box that houses the switch. it's it's the old school version i got you what's up nutella how's it going welcome to the screen so my brother-in-law, who knows how to do all that shit because he does it professionally, I figure I'll just let him do it. Yeah, I'll blame you on that one. Man. If it was the screw and shit, you'd be fine, but I don't know how old your house is, but... Oh, this this place is built in the 50s. That would be why it's the old style. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's all you have to do now, but, uh... The old style of switches were like bullshit. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, no, the '70s would be the new style already. It's it's a fair bit old. Um, the, yeah, these ones are. It's oh. also typically hard to figure out which wire is which with the old style because yeah. everything changed. Well, because everything is one color. <laughs> all the cables oh, yours are, are all one color. All the cables are one color. <laughs> I've uh, I've seen some switches where they're multicolored, but they're not the standardized color, or they're not any standardized color. Hi, so Natala. You're, you're just guessing. Yeah. It's, it's so, like I said, I'm gonna leave it to my brother. Anyway, okay, back to the game. Excuse me. I see his hand reach out, but it's only to scratch the head of a sleeping cat next to him. Oh my God! 
he's another Satanist. <laughs> it hits me as hard as Mason probably punches. I know that cat. Is Mason whoring around with this dead guy? Why is she? Ah. Uh, we don't have a voice for him yet. Uh, do you want to take him? I'll take him. Is he, uh, he's a Satanist? Cat owner? It was, it was kind of a joke. Um, in, in reference to maybe like Hecate's. Uh, what? He Hecate's, the, the demon. Was that? Never mind. Uh, H E C. H E C A T A? A T E? Hecate? Hecate? No? Are you not familiar with this? I give I give you credit for trying, but I don't understand the word of this. Oh, it's uh, like a it's like a demon possessed animal that's usually like a pet of a of a witch or something. Like a familiar? Yeah, like a yeah. A I was thinking of mine. Ah, uh, yourself. I hear you. Uh, what do you want? Oh, um, sorry? Donuts, uh, please. Yeah, I got those. Yeah. Haha. -ha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make this the most awkward conversation. How about it? Keep going. <laughs> Which do you want? Uh, or are you gonna, you gonna make me guess? His demeanor is so familiar, I glance down at Mason, asleep without a care in the world. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Am I putting two and two together here? Are you? Is this Graves' alter ego? Like, <laughs> Satanist by night and old dead guy by day? I mean, during the day he owns a cat cafe, and during the night he owns a place that sells donuts and has cats. <laughs> so... <laughs> 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 They're so obviously different. <laughs> I feel uncomfortable. Perfect. His demeanor is so familiar. I glance down at Mason asleep without a care in the world. Cat's not included with the donuts. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Pick what you want. Unless you're gonna stand there catching flies. Oh, sorry. Two chocolate please. <laughs> I have so many arms. <laughs> Seems way familiar. I'm exaggerating a lot of syllables. He turns to get the donuts. I don't know why I feel so like goofy. I don't know, maybe I'm just so happy we're back. It's, it's, it's the first time my husband been away from his child. <laughs> it really has. I'm losing my goddamn mind. He turns to get the donuts. Mason hasn't stirred. I'm starting to get nervous. I hope she doesn't freak out if she sees me. So, you like cats? Ugh, never cared either way. Nice to have the company. So, she keeps you company? Are you all alone here? Usually. No family or anything. Takes the time putting the donuts in the wax, wax paper bag. Meticulously folding the top over and over. Drops the bag on the counter and turns away. Not anymore. <laughs> oh. Thank you for dead patting his lines. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why? Did you do something to him? Oh, no, I mean just, uh... In general, I guess. You know, just as a saint? reach for the donuts even though I don't need them anymore. <laughs> the foot in my mouth doesn't leave much room for food. Oh, the music, the music just, like, stopped. So, um, you know anybody named Mesa? Ow. Before I can even finish, Mason is a blur. Suddenly she's on me. There's a sharp pain on my hand. A lot of hissing. A little bit. And a little blood. Ah. Hey, hey! Pulls Mason off of me. Back behind the counter, she's spitting fury. She spit, she's spitting fury. 
trying she's to get spin at straight you. fire. That's I what was, she's doing. I was, uh, that was my first instinct to just say spit fire. <laughs> yeah, Mason, the SoundCloud rapper here. Right. While you're here, too shocked to even move. What'd you do to her? No, nothing. I didn't do anything. You saw me. Look, you should go. Uh, sorry, uh, I'll, um, the donuts, <laughs> sorry, uh, <laughs> I'll leave the donuts on the counter and make a run for the door. Well, that was fun. That was, that was the awkward conversation I've ever fucking heard. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> I keep running, well past the point where I can see the corner store. My hand stings like hell. I think I see some beads of blood in the corner. But that's not what bothers me. What the hell was her problem? Should I even go to work? She'll be there later. Do I feel betrayed already? Maybe she just likes to be a little rough. Like, <laughs> Maybe that's her thing. That's her thing, right? I mean, consent is important, I know. Is it, though? It really, it really is. <laughs> She goes after me then too. <laughs> don't think she'd do that, but I also don't think she'd scratch me. And look where we are now. Betrayed. Betrayed by my one true love. Holy shit, oh what was me? My my cat wife who bit me. <laughs> yes, it's important. Fair enough. Alright, it is. That's why I'm not. It's kind of a joke. Uh my pace slows until the sort of puttering along. I could go home, but I don't think I have any peroxide or bandages. And you know where I'd go for that? The corner store. Fucking Mason did that shit on purpose then. <laughs> now, this is the this is a bad route where you bleed out. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out she has poison in her in her in her claws and <laughs> eggs. You fucking End up in the alley, like, five feet from the store, and just... It's the five-finger punch of doom, or whatever. A bunch of blood on the ground. You take five steps, and you just... Bleh. Rest in peace, my big... <laughs> my big titty cat waifu. Have you seen Mason? Uh, I mean, if she is, she hides it pretty well. She hides it really well. She is definitely not... She is definitely not Lotus. <laughs> wrap my head around I can't wrap my head around it whatever the cause it's hard to feel sympathy for someone who just messed up my hand I'm not feeling any better when I approach the cafe I, I'm assuming Glenn just assumes that I picked Mason because because of boobs but no one's really given us that option where is booby cat I don't um I think Finley's your best bet isn't isn't she like, she doesn't have much, but I think she's your best bet for that. Not feeling any better when I approach the cafe. I see some people-shaped objects in the window. People are here, so I better snap out of it. <laughs> Just had a cat attack me. Fucking get your head in the game. <laughs> it's time to go serve some coffee. <laughs> that where's, looks like... where's Booby Cat? What is this fucking bird down here? I know Hayes won't cry, but Landry's such a mama bird. Well, nothing to do but go for it. I take a deep breath to prepare myself, then open the door. <laughs> Fucking cat <can't> left. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is so loud. Hold on. Let's try it. Try it down a little. There we go. I was like getting distorted. It was so loud. Oh. That was weird. And I'm like at 25%. Hmm. Not eating yeah, about. I need some big titty cat girl. That's like, that's Nekopara, isn't it? <laughs> that's it? Uh, are there cat girls in that one? I mean, it's on my Steam library, but I haven't played it, so. Really? Yeah. I got in like a bundle thing, and I just haven't gotten around to it. Right. Who's Landry? Is that me? I am Landry, sorry. <clears throat> right? Yes. Oh, hey, Avery. I... There we go. 
Oh my gosh, what happened? Uh, we better get you patched up. You are Hayes. Oh, uh, Avery, come here. Uh, we have a first aid kit in the bathroom. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Still gonna be awkward. <laughs> I'm trying to process the fact that my cat girlfriend just attacked me. <laughs> this, is, this should just be the new standard. <laughs> She's been, uh, ever since the attack, I upgraded her to girlfriend. To what? To girlfriend. She's gotcha. Been, yeah, that's how you know it's love. Hayes runs <laughs> to the bathroom for the kid. <laughs> bathroom <DJ. laughs> I duck you to wash my hands. <laughs> And my other thing. Then <laughs> the chair laundry's pulled up. Thanks, guys. It's no big deal. It's it's just a scratch. It's best we treat it quickly and effectively. You don't know where Mason's been. You shouldn't risk infection. Wink, wink. You you don't know where strays have been. You could get something like cat scratch fever. Is that real? I know that yeah, that's a real that's a real disease. I know that there's like a, <laughs> a song about it. Yep. Ah. Uh, there's a song, but it's also like a real, real thing that's pretty serious. Is it really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was just a song. A uh, song. <laughs> Never mind. It was a stray, though, right? It wasn't one of the cats here, or or your cat. Yeah, it was a wild stray. Okay, I'd be worried if we had a cat who'd become aggressive. Because we'd have to put him down. <laughs> <laughs> End it right there. How do you tell him it's our... Or how do you tell him? It's our chef who's become aggressive. But hasn't she, like, always been aggressive? Like, she's, so, she's aggressive 100% of the time. <laughs> like, I don't understand this whole, like, became aggressive thing. It's kind of why we fell in love with her, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, that and the fact that she kind of treated us like a lost puppy. But be careful. Uh, oh, no, leave it to graves to bring us the new cats. However he corrals them, he does it well. Just constantly feeds him catnip. Absolutely. <laughs> he gets them fucking high off their minds. <laughs> yeah, you see the cat over here just totally tripping balls. Uh, he says some more stuff about straight cats and graves, but I'm not paying attention. As Hayes patches me up, I peer past both towards the kitchen. Maybe I made a mistake. Maybe it wasn't Mason. Could it have been a coincidence where some random cat hates the sound of my voice? It's possible, isn't it? First, Mason doesn't show up. Now this. You know I felt bad about today. My mouth dries up and I feel my heart stutter. She's not here? Where is she? What if she doesn't come in at all and it's all my fault? Hey, is don't get too worked up. We've dealt with these sorts of things. Oh, sorry. We've dealt with all sorts of weird things here, right? We can handle a cat scratch and a little cooking. Those rank pretty low on the weirdo meter. Yeah, considering, you know, we turn into cats. <laughs> we, uh, we're cat people now, hey, is Let's never forget that. <laughs> Perspective, <kid>. Perspective. <laughs> Fuck the cat. We're working on that, lad. <laughs> we need to start the chant. Fuck the cat. <laughs> Fuck the <laughs> Oh, God. Just imagine it like a wrestling event. <laughs> what do you I mean? just... I just, I just half imagine, like... What if my neighbors could hear me half the time? Yeah, you better hope your walls are well insulated. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? Mason didn't show up? Where is she? 
Uh, I don't know. We haven't heard anything. But don't worry. She might just be sick or something. You know. Cat things. We're kind of lax about Miss Days. You can't exactly call out sick with cat paws. Oh my god, we need to get Chris in on this. <laughs> what if Chris could hear half the time? We could get Chris in on this. I don't, well, I don't know if he'd go for it, but... Like... He's usually free <laughs> later at night, so... Okay, oh, I thought you just meant in general. No. <laughs> anyway. But still, it's not like her to just not show up. She's never missed a day. But I make a pretty mean grilled cheese. And Hayes is good in the kitchen too. Right, Hayes? Assuming his grilled cheese is without mayo. Uh, it's butter, obviously. It's the only correct answer. I can see mayo working. I can see don't, it. don't do this. I can see it. Don't, don't do this to me. Maybe you made it more like a BIT cheese. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not having this discussion again. Bring you this Chris person. Chris is actually the one that designed uh, both Wolfie and my character for the intro and the outro. Best outro. Best outro ever. Grilled PB&J. I can make you a grilled PB&J. <laughs> we should uh, we should make a grilled Charlie. Say no to mayo with the claps. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's true. Okay, so like for real, <laughs> if if you don't know where this debate's coming from. Um, me and my my roommate Chris greatly differ on opinions on what you put on grilled cheese, um, and he uh, he prefers mayo, which is just wrong. I've tried one of his just to uh, just to like give it a chance. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not. It's just not as good. You just use butter. It's easier and. You know, it, tastes it, better. Uh, I can see that you. It's like the pineapple on pizza thing. You just need to open your mind up. Uh, see, here's the thing, though. Like I tried it <laughs> because I'm willing. I'm willing to give it the benefit of the doubt, right? But like, I I don't understand the argument because it's literally just not as good. It just doesn't taste as good. I'm gonna have to try and make it. I, like, go for it. Well, if you, you like it more, you go for it. But like, it's the objectively wrong choice. Well, yeah, okay. So, let here's the things. I've never had it, so I don't know. I just can imagine how it can work. Like, maybe he just it adds it really badly. Like, it adds kind of a tangy flavor to it. Oh, did he use but, whip? No, he used mayo. Okay. Um, but, like, it removes all of the butter taste. So if you hate the butter taste, sure, go with mayo. But, like, the butter taste is so good. Butter <laughs> grilled cheese. Yeah. What if we did both? <laughs> Just one side. One side mayo, one side butter. That seems like far too much effort but uh, I'm going to stick with my butter and or margarine version of, of uh, grilled cheese personally margarine god you're white <laughs> it's cheaper <laughs> uh, maybe not on this scale but I can try uh, I don't know I don't want to disappoint anyone so calm about it, but there's this ball of anger simmering in my gut and bubbling up my throat, and I'm gonna burp, and that burp is gonna be bitch. Uh, <laughs> well, that took a turn. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, 
Mercury Riesel's right. Maybe I'm gonna if I'm gonna be treated like this. Oh, maybe I'm gonna be treated like this if I get close to her. Uh, Avery, please don't be upset. Huh? You look so angry. Angry. Oh, I do. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking about something. I was thinking about murder. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta go murder a cat. <laughs> BRB. BRB. <laughs> Hayes doesn't look convinced. Not surprising. I've never been good at hiding my anger. Well, I'm going to get to work. Uh, Hayes, will you help me prep? Wait a minute. Hold on, Nutella. Are we saying a grilled cheese with whipped cream? I think we are saying a grilled cheese with whipped cream. What? I, uh, I question this choice. I... But I can't... I can't say anything definitive because I've never I've never tried it. Um, like, are you talking whipped cream in place of butter, or are you talking like whipped cream in the middle? Either one is probably not the best answer, but like one of them is better than the other. <laughs> well, okay, so no, we can't. We don't ban anyone here. We uh we we sometimes ban people. Don't break the rules. <laughs> In place of butter? Like I've never tried it, so I I can't say anything. I imagine it just makes it really sugary, right? You ban we? <laughs> the the royal we? <laughs> Damn it, you beat me too. <laughs> head back. As they go, I notice that a little murmuring in stolen glances. Let them gossip. Everyone does around here. Dang, we've only been at this job for like four days and we're already a part of work gossip. We've we've been there weeks at this point. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, we've been there long enough where we have our own key to the place. Oh, I thought he just handed keys out all willy-nilly. It's not like they're... <laughs> you fucking might. <laughs> I just figured it like he really doesn't give a shit about this place he's never really there yeah he's always at the corner store being old and dead <laughs> old and dead dead inside I sullenly reload the napkin holders staring out the window the whole time I why why is my hand covered in salt pretty sure I'm completely covered in salt right now like it's not just my hand I'm very salty should I get the hat? The hat? The salty hat. Did you actually buy that hat? Absolutely. <laughs> We're in on stream a few times. <laughs> huh. Guess I knocked the shaker over. Didn't even notice. I am made of salt. I am salt. I Why am no? one million Why no? salt. Well, I know is actually salt. He is salt incarnate. Ah, crap. Flick the salt off my hand and pick up the shaker. Break it, did I? Avery! Duh! <laughs> Acting! <laughs> I pitched the shaker in surprise. It clatters against the floor. Now it's definitely broken. Avery, she's here. Salt cascades onto the floor. I've got more cleanup to do. I don't have to cook after all. She's getting prepped. Did she say what happened or where she was or. There's still part of me that's hoping, in spite of myself, that maybe something else came up. Maybe I had a run in with a different crooked tailed cabbie. Tabby. Ah, uh, I didn't ask. I mean, I'm sure she has her reasons. It's Mason. You basically don't ask questions. No. Wouldn't be like her just to play hooky. But clawing my hand isn't like her either, is it? We just met this chick, or, like... Or is it? <laughs> he 
you very well have no idea. It just could be her thing. <laughs> it could be really good. It's, okay, uh, here's what I'm going to compare it to. is like, you know how like in elementary school you have those girls, there's that one girl or guy or whoever you had a crush on, and they played it a little coy, and they like pinched you or something, and like ran away? That's this. Where they're going to be like kind of a dick to you, but they're doing it in a way to be like, no, you come chase me now. And then you kiss under the table at lunch. I don't know where that was going. <laughs> the point being is like a, <laughs> she could very well be that kind of person and just never grew up that's fair that's a fair assumption see look at that face oh wait a minute hold on did Mason well, get extra cursed and now she's the old man at the corner store too <laughs> <laughs> she uh she has two safe zones, but in one of them, she is a old, old man, man <laughs> who is dead inside. <laughs> Look at the eyes. Are they the exact same? They're lifeless. <laughs> there she is, chopping veggies like nothing happened. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like such a jilted lover right now. <laughs> She's cheating on me. She's at me with old man. She's yeah. She's DMing <laughs> that old guy. <laughs> they slid into DMs. There's Hayes scrambling around <laughs> <laughs> to ready the pots and pans. Oh god. I was gonna make a. She's sending new jokes. Send like it. yeah. Well, she's a cat most of the time, so put two and two together on that one. Oh no. <laughs> Cat butthole. Uh, I was just gonna go with pussy pics, but that ooh, works. Ooh, yes. No, good play on words. Good play on words. That works too. Are you sure you feel okay? If you're sick, you shouldn't fuss over work. We wouldn't want to get germs on the food. Not, not that you're germ filled. You're only a cat. Not sick. Now I'm ashamed of it. <laughs> Let's just move on. <laughs> oh, Avery, I guess you heard. Mason freezes when she hears my name. She stands still, facing away, shoulders braced, then resumes her prep. This would see, okay, instead of being the jilted lover, this is the perfect moment to just walk up behind her, put your hands on her shoulder, and whisper, Next time, do it harder. And boom, you're in there. Like swimwear. <laughs> See, that's smooth operation right there, right? Like, it's... You have to be pretty confident that that's her thing. <laughs> I mean... Like we're, talking, we're talking over 90%. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure everything was okay. Hey Mason, are you biting that shit over there? <laughs> I want to see her face. Know what she's thinking. Be in her skin. <laughs> just, just pull us out of night. <laughs> <laughs> Try to crane my neck to look, but she whips her head away. Don't get more than a glimpse. Might be reading too much into a split second glance, but I think I saw guilt. I'm gonna have to talk to her or I'm gonna explode. Hey, Mason, <coughs> are we really doing this right now? Absolutely. Nothing. <laughs> I've never seen someone so interested in chopping vegetables. Mason, you hear me? Or do I have to ask Hayes to get your attention? What? This is where we go, Hayes, can you, like, leave the room please you should probably get the fuck out <laughs> no we're going with the even more awkward thing of let's ditch Hayes <laughs> we're gonna leave while also like making note of the problem <laughs> can 
you help me get something from the basement and see my hand got all scratched up by some cat? <laughs> Dick move. <laughs> she chops celery like a public execution. After a long deep breath, she finally turns to me. You shouldn't mess with strays like that. Oh, oh, plus the look on her face now. She's gonna fuck us up. Just come with me. Surprise, she lets me drag her by the wrist downstairs. We dragged her by the wrist. <laughs> she she loves us. <laughs> If she did, if she did, we'd be fucking dead. <laughs> she would have just like pushed us down the stairs, <laughs> making sure our neck was broken. <laughs> she pushed us down, then when she saw that we were okay, she pulls back up and pushed us down again. <laughs> <laughs> or just like a macho man flying elbow drop. Just like... <laughs> she could easily make this like carrying a stone block down a mountain. Well, physically. She's already doing it emotionally. Damn! We are the king of reading shit too much, like... What? I like how she's still in the, uh... tightening gloves position here. <laughs> I'm just putting them on, okay? <laughs> what do you mean, what? What you? What the hell, man? It doesn't have the impact I want. No shit. That fucking re <laughs> right. He's just like all over it. He's uh, doesn't have the impact I want. But you try pier piercing, piercing together, piercing together. Words is that piercing? It's piercing. Oh, there's no R. There's no R. <laughs> Reading would be great. Together words when you feel like you're about to boil over. Can't play dumb when you're the one who did it. I panicked. You sure did. Is that your answer every time you get upset? Just take a chunk out of someone? She did this once! <laughs> look. You look. Whatever your problem is, you didn't have to hurt me. I didn't mean to. No, that's weak. I thought we were cool. But if you're just gonna... gonna bully me... I think that's new. I'm not used to hearing that. Go ahead. I get it from everyone. Oh no, you don't get to hide behind that. That doesn't work for me. Why do you push? I didn't ask for this. Sorry, water. <clears throat> Thought we had something nice, but then you push and push and pry. Give up, like everyone else. Don't make this about you, unless you're gonna do it to apologize. I told you it was an accident. I'm sorry, okay? Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> can't have this conversation with you right now. I think that's the whole point of us being down here. I need to go. Storm upstairs, shutting out whatever response she might have had for me. Making more noise than I expected. Thanks, cheap old wooden steps. <laughs> Thanks, Obama. <laughs> Good, let everyone hear it. <laughs> Fucking Obama. Don't stop storming till I'm outside. I just want to imagine that I'm doing like high knees, like that over exaggerated <laughs> stomping. Claw, claw, claw. So, so there's a back door to the uh, to the cat cafe, right? I like to imagine you just stormed out through the front anyway, though. And just went all the way around. <laughs> <laughs> if Landry and Hayes didn't hear me before, I'm sure they heard me slam the door. Can't say I can't stay here. I want them to know I'm mad, but it doesn't mean I want to talk about it. Oh my god, I'm such a bitch. <laughs> I need some air. But where do I go? If I go home, I won't come back. I, f <laughs> I feel 
like the guy that gets way too drunk and sees like his other talking to someone else and it's just like well fuck it over time to end the life like it just <laughs> walk outside oh. overly dramatic attention on me please <laughs> that's that's what happened you just show up to work pissed fucking drunk <laughs> <laughs> combined with everything that happened this morning it equals this right I just was like it's I was just already drunk. That was that's how I woke up. I don't remember shit the night before. She got me love drunk. Maybe I'll walk in circles until I forget about everything. Scruffy orange. Oh, about scruffy orange cats. Respect. <laughs> Lid, I've been there before. I stare at the ground as I walk, for, forcing my focus on the cracks in the asphalt. The scuffs on the side of my shoe. Anything to distract. It works. A little. At least I don't feel like punching my heart anymore. <laughs> God damn, dude. Let's get email. Let's do it. <laughs> put on my headphones and put my my chemical romance on. Okay, but like... <laughs> you know how I listen to music in the background, right? Is that what's on right now? <laughs> I, might, I might have uh, three cheers for Sweet Revenge on right now. <laughs> solid <laughs> should have paid more attention to where I was going look where I ended up did I end up in a alley full of like crooked cats <laughs> it's the orgy we found it we found it <laughs> why are we here <laughs> instinctively I turned to the dead man the owner's still here as he should be still reading a book I have no idea what I'm doing stand still in the I doorway just, good place I just want to I just want to point out that we have yet to see Graves. So he is this guy. <laughs> this is dumb. Close the door. <laughs> Only after the door fails to jingle does he look up. Looks like he's about to say something else, but stops. Feels his eyes on my bandage hand. You're that kid from earlier. You all right? Yeah. I don't know what I did. That cat sure didn't like it. Don't worry. I'm not mad or disgruntled or anything. Not at him, at least. Hmm. Close the door. This time I oblige and step up to the counter. He sets the book down and gives me his full attention. Wanted to, like, apologize for causing trouble, I, I guess. If I was prying or something. Don't matter to me. Helena was the best song off the album. I mostly agree. It was definitely the best single off that album. I really like uh, Cemetery Drive too, though. Anyway, go on. Sorry, she got wild. Sorry. Close <laughs> the damn door. Uh, uh, sorry, she got wild. Guess it happens with strays. She's sweet with me. Oh. Did you find her somewhere, or adopt her, or something? Don't own her, or nothing. Comes and goes when she wants. Runs off during the day. Always comes back mornings and evenings. Don't know why. Not like I feed her. I think I know the type. <laughs> no? Okay. How's, how's your hand? Eh, wasn't a deep scratch. It's the principle, you know. You think you know someone in that. Hmm. So how'd you know, Mason? He's here? Ah, crap. He's sharp. Oh. Uh. Are you related? I see resemblance. Same crud and all. I didn't know it was genetic. <laughs> 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 My granddaughter answer my question I feel like he has to have like some sort of southern old man voice I mean he's related to Mason so do what you will though. can't really figure out how he feels about it is he worried about her angry excited I don't know he's even harder to read than Mason oh I didn't know uh, we worked together 
work together. Yeah, she, um, she's really cool. I like her a lot. Well, usually. <laughs> when she's not, she's not attacking me. Is that what you're calling it now? Work? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Came off of really hokey. Okay, never mind. We're not doing that. <laughs> He's already frosty demeanor ice is over. The way he stares nah, at me makes me nervous. You're committed. Committed. You're committed. You can't come back now. <laughs> <laughs> feel like I feel like that was like a European like an Eastern European. Or an Eastern European trying to be Southern. Southern American. Yeah. It's already frosty demeanor ice is over. The way he stares at me makes me nervous. What'd I say? Is it because I said I like her? Didn't mean it like like that. Well not really. Yeah, really. Oh man, I gotta get my thoughts together and yeah, um my voice squeaks. Keeping it real cool, right? Though so it's also also fun, you know. Um Why now is this uh is this is this you while you're talking to your wife's family for the first time? No is this accurate. No, it was quite the opposite. I was way too confident. <laughs> you were way too confident. I mean, they luckily they liked me, but like I was kind of a dick. <laughs> okay. And, yeah. No. So I, to be okay. So I, I mean, we could go into story time because I really I knew my wife years and years ago, even prior okay. to us dating, and um, kind of one of the first times we met, well, hung out. I should say was at her house. Okay. And she invited me over. We're, like juniors in high school, sophomore, something around there. And uh, for me, I'm an idiot because I don't know things like at all. However, so we hang out. They had a, an above ground pool. Really doesn't have anything to do with the story other than I just wanted to point out that they had an above ground pool. And I mean, they're nice. I won't lie. <laughs> okay. And <laughs> above ground? Really? Okay. Uh, like, dude, a pool, a pool in general is kind of nice. <laughs> this one was. Oh, uh, unless it's like one of the blow up ones. It, well, I mean, like it had a pump and everything, but it was still covered in algae. Uh, oh, okay. One of those, yes. And uh, so we hung out. We hung out in the pool all day, uh, and then later that day, uh, after we dry off and everything, we go in the house. And she's like, oh, well, I just got to get something out of my room real quick. So I'm like, okay, whatever. I follow her into her room. And her dad starts to walk by. And immediately she shoves the fuck out of me right back out of the room. And she's like, uh, oh, so another one, she's Mason. Um, and <laughs> Everything and makes sense now. <laughs> yeah, no, this is, this is us. Fuck, you're right. Nailed it. Uh, that was our first interaction. I got her, and, and then I wanted to uh, go talk to her dad, the store owner. <laughs> All right. Yep, this worked. This worked out. Segway. Another <laughs> useless delinquent, huh? Like her? Whoa, does he not like his own granddaughter? What? Um, causing trouble for us decent, hardworking folk. That your idea of work... Uh, look, I think you got the wrong idea, sir. I work at a cafe. He's not buying it. I threw in the sir and everything. Yeah, well, I kind of did a little condescending thing. What'd she do? What do you mean by a delinquent? Studies me for what probably the longest minute to exist in eternity. Not sure if he's going to say something, or if I should say something, or if I should even move, or what to do with my hands. <laughs> I just, I just, I've never been interviewed before. I don't know what to do with my hands. I shouldn't move, right? If I ran away, I could never come back, and I'd never learn more about Mason. I'd give anything to have someone break this awkward moment. <laughs> or, oh, that's you. <laughs> Should I deadpan it? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> 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 
The worst possible someone has shown up. There she is. Hackle, hackles raised? What? I don't know, man. Huh. I'd like her to show up this time of day. Aha. I better go. Sorry. That's it. That's the scene. Boom. Done. Nailed it. Nailed all of that. Exit C left. Oh my god. That was that was the best scene. Let's be real. I like, <laughs> I like how now two scenes in a row we've just ditched Mason. We're just fucking nope. I like you, bye. <laughs> We're done with her, man. <laughs> Don't even have time to hope that Mason stayed behind because there she is at my feet. Oh god. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still getting past her. <laughs> uh, should I know when you come back? Meddling again. That's right, Mason. Once you get me in your life, you can't get me out. <laughs> well, we got in the way with it, too. What? <laughs> For that meddling guy. <laughs> come back to finish the job? Oh, my God. main character should have booked it. <laughs> yeah, probably. Just start running. <laughs> Just, nope. <laughs> Show off the bandage with a sneer. Her tail puffs up like static. Don't do this. Not here. God, this is so much drama off of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I probably should have warned you about this. <laughs> um... <clears throat> You want to talk so bad? We'll do it at the cafe. This is literally two people that have nothing else to complain about right now. <laughs> you bit me. <laughs> you fucking... Yeah, but you keep showing up at my granddad's place. <laughs> and wanting to learn about me. <laughs> it's a long oh, silent God. walk back. Curiosity overtakes my anger. What happened between them? Sure, it's something to do with the delinquent stuff, but don't know where to start. Bits and pieces of possibility swirl uselessly in my head. We head straight to the basement, barely sparing a nod for Hayes along the way. Ooh, makeup sex time! Uh, I feel a little bad for like the rest of the employees today. Right? <laughs> really fucked it up. We can afford. <laughs> Fuck the cat. Fuck the cat. <laughs> Just need that on a button now. <laughs> it probably is. <laughs> There's probably a button already. <clears throat> Look. Sorry. Don't know what else to say, but I mean it. I'm sorry. I really panicked. What if she's gonna, like, fuck murder us? <laughs> like Black Widow style. That'd be pretty sweet. This is the classic, uh... <laughs> classic murder-suicide right here. It's gonna be Romeo and Juliet in the basement of this cat cafe. I was gonna say, if there's ever <laughs> a more dungeonous place to be in... <laughs> Right along with the mini skeletons of whatever the fuck these things are. <laughs> I think there's a whole other case of skeletons right behind Mason, too. Like, I'm pretty sure they would see this and go, yeah, this makes sense, alright. OSHA shows up, be like, what the fuck are these working conditions? I. Wow. She starts right out with that and takes some wind out of my sails. She's not defensive or combative anymore. But please, stop pushing. You aren't gonna help. Ellipses. 
I sort of <laughs> I sort of parched in and messed up a uh, uh, messed stuff up on. Huh? I'm sorry. Is there anything I should know? Like I mean or stuff like this? So I don't put you in a bad spot again. Trying to tiptoe. We're still going. To, we're still going to awkward main character. This is super awkward main character. I think. Oh, oh no! How do I go back? Uh, scroll wheel. Uh, the thing on the right that looks like a page. Uh, I don't know where else you go. You'd go as a cat, so maybe it won't come up again. Just there. Just don't go. It's gonna just cause problems. Are you still going to go? Can't see him any other way. Your grandpa? Why not call him? I bet he misses you. Could explain that you're busy with work or have another job and invite him to. He wanted to come. But I will, so let's get it on. <laughs> wink, wink. Wink, wink. <laughs> I'm sure he would. He could close the store for lunch, or I could cover the counter for him. I'm sure he'd make time for this. No. He doesn't want to see me. What? Why? Out of your business. <laughs> Just don't go. Come on, Mason. Hmm. <laughs> Roll for I like, persuasion. Uh, I like the I like the Hans being canonical. <laughs> like that other person's interested in this conversation. <laughs> Care about you a lot and I want to help you or at least be there for you but it's really hard when you won't let it tell me anything oh we're holding the hands shit level up reach over to put my hands on hers she's gonna pull away any second I know it but she doesn't you said it was nice someone wasn't afraid of you so here I am not being afraid I'm not afraid. Crying. I'm super nosy. I want to know more about you. I slip my fingers in between hers. Oh shit, it's getting serious. She looks away, but tentatively lo locks her fingers with mine. We used to be close. By the way, the song fucking kills. Like, it's so good. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I don't, like, I feel like this soundtrack isn't really meant for this game. Um, like, there are times where it really, really works, and times that are probably like this, because I can't hear the sound, but... It's like a um, chill step, kind of. Yeah, I can see... I know there were some times when I was playing it that was kind of awkward, but... For the most part, I think it works. It's got a really good soundtrack. In my opinion, at least. Eh? Me and her? Oh, her grandpa, of course. Wait, she's actually talking about it? That's all it took was one big fight and then just one thing. No, don't ask about me. Okay, I'll tell you. You just need to hold her hand. That's all. <laughs> Squeeze her hand <laughs> in encouragement. Grow up with them. Right above that corner store. Yep. We bake for the store together. It was nice. When I got older, we stopped talking. I think he didn't know what to do with a teenager. Maybe I reminded him too much of my mom. It just turned into fights. That's all we did after a while. 
started skipping school, making bad friends, getting into bad stuff. He's not stupid. He knew. I got a real bad one, and I just left. Just took my stuff and left. Oh, Mason, I'm so sorry. <laughs> The overly it's, concerned boyfriend. It's such a contrast. <laughs> I'm just I'm trying to do super subtle emotions. <laughs> I get out of nowhere. <laughs> <sighs> this is what it is. Can't change the past. Drifted for a while. And I thought, hell with this. Just show them wrong and get a real job. So I came here. And I love it, but it's hard to come back, you know? I can't talk to them like, well, like that. I went to check in on them one day and it was so lonely. Real happy to have the company. Started talking to me. Cat me. More than he had human me. First it was about his day. Aching knees, what a customer said. But later. It was me. Said he missed me. But it was too late. I'll stay with him whatever way I can. Even if it's even if it's as a stray cat. Even if he says he misses you, couldn't you talk to him? It's not that simple. You saw how mad he got when he said you <clears throat> saw how mad he got when you said you're my friend. Oh. You saw that. So, you know, I think he misses me and, like, I'm already lost. It's fine. I can look after him like this. Better, better than what I could have if I was human. I'm not going to try to change it. Can't afford to lose it. She pulls her hand away and shoves it back into her pocket. It's a shame. Her hands were rough. I don't know what else to do. I should stick to cooking. Do some good at that. I think you're good at more than that. Wink. <laughs> eh. <laughs> eh. Better get back to work. Hazel burned the kitchen down. Is he really that bad? Not as bad as you. But I'm. Fucking ribbing each other. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yep. She does the unbelievable. She cracks a smile. What? Miss emotionless. <laughs> With a pat on my shoulder, she heads upstairs. I hear the cracking of each step. But the noise stops at the top. Avery. Thanks for listening. Anytime, Mason. Ding! Flag raised. Let's go. She keeps the menu simple, but these little tea sandwiches are delicious. She fixes one for me and I shovel it into my gaping maw during my break. She even gives me those sugar snappy chips that I like. Top it off with a nice kombucha. I selfish. Hey, kombucha? No, I've smelt it. It's nasty. It's, yeah, it smells disgusting. <laughs> I've never had it either, but I know some guys who drink it. Oh, <laughs> all the time. I see people buy it, and I'm just like, why? You could just have juice or... Yeah, juice or tea or... Water. Fucking anything else. Or a beer. Beer sounds good. I'm not, like, I'm not a soda guy, but drink that instead. <laughs> yeah. It's a 
Fuck it. Warm up coffee. Straight whiskey. Just go for it. Just do it. Like, fuck it. <laughs> right at noon. It's two. It's two in the afternoon. It's early enough. Me and Leonard are just gonna look at you and be like, "Yeah, that's normal." Like seriously, Scott. Just, just go <laughs> for it. <laughs> I like assigning names to these things. <laughs> I just like the idea that someone's someone's gonna watch this video at some point. Just <laughs> be like, well, shit. <laughs> he said to. <laughs> yeah. So that's okay. So Nutella, someone fermented their own kombucha at my high school. It was only later I realized that they were doing it for the alcohol. So that's the thing: is kombucha actually has alcohol in it because it's a fermented drink. Mm-hmm. Granted, it's like a very low. Super low. Do what uh do what kids did when I was in high school and fucking distill hand sanitizer. Don't ever do that, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Don't actually do that. So I found out okay, so Disneyland used to have hand sanitizer stations. Yeah. And they took them away. And I was like, why? That was like such a great idea, right? You and me, normal people. Not normal mm-hmm. people. Apparently, we're just drinking them. Like, kids yeah. that were underage would just go up and just start chugging you that shit. <laughs> and <laughs> fucking Tide Pod, all. This was like before the Tide Pod challenge. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was a few years before Tide Pods that the whole people realized that fucking hand sanitizer is just alcohol. <laughs> People disappoint me sometimes. Right? Like, I, I'm really hoping that I don't raise one of those. This is no, my... uh, no YouTube for a while. Oh, <laughs> no dude, way. he's not getting a phone or a tablet or any of that shit until he's like a teenager. Uh, we are not starting this kid off at like five years old fucking doing Fortnite dances and shit. Like that. You don't want flossing? Oh my god, you I see kids all fucking day doing that shit. And I'm like, you're all gonna grow up mentally retarded. Like So okay. <laughs> I went to uh we we live relatively close to the King of Prussia Mall, which uh fun fact of the day, second biggest mall in the US. Um so naturally we went to see it because it's kind of a big deal uh on our way out <laughs> one of the trips we saw this uh <clears throat> couldn't have been more than 13 year old girl uh just flossing like like there was no music playing it looked like she was like in an idol animation in a video game <laughs> <laughs> like, that was just her that was just her go to like no one's touched the controller for like two minutes I'm just gonna start flossing you just expect her to like turn her head back to the camera and be like yo what's up alright cool I guess we're doing this but... <laughs> like she didn't even look like she was enjoying it she just looked like she was doing it for the sake of doing it it's just a nervous <laughs> habit now you know, at one point in people's lives when they were born they just kind of hung out and talked <laughs> Instead of, you know, did weird meme shit. Oh my god. Uh, I'm so scared for my kid growing up. <laughs> you probably should be. <laughs> I would love to be the guy that's like, oh no, you're gonna you're gonna do great, but like nowadays No, because whatever you know the type bot challenge is 10, 15 years from now, I'm sure my son is going to try and do exactly that. And it's going to be something even more dumb. Like, hey, try and fit this broom up your ass. Like, <laughs> Well, just remember that the, before the Tide Pod Challenge was a thing, it was the Cinnamon Challenge, right? And that's a whole lot safer. Like, kids... Kids, let's, let's talk for a sec. If you're thinking about doing an internet challenge, don't do the one that actually involves digesting poison do the one that involves maybe choking on cinnamon less likely to die um tastes better or like the bucket challenge that was cool 
Oh, people the, dumped uh, it. the ALS thing. Yeah, yeah where people was... dumped ice water on themselves. I mean, most people did it just for the meme, and they didn't really give a shit about the reason behind it. Yeah. But, like... That was that was a good one, because, like... That was cheeky very and few, fun. Very few people got hurt. The only people that got hurt were the people that, like, decided to use an entire trash can, or, like, a tractor, or... <laughs> You know, that's when you go, oh, taking it too far is the wrong thing to do. My, uh, my mom did it, and then shortly after she did it, she slipped on the ice and broke something. Oh, shit. <laughs> she, was, she was one of the casualties. It was, it was great to see, <laughs> to see the internet fight back. You did the cinnamon challenge, even did the cocoa challenge. What's the cocoa challenge? I don't know what the cocoa challenge is. I did the cinnamon is it, challenge. Is it just and cocoa I did, powder? Because that sounds awful. That sounds incredibly bland and like it's like eating a bunch of dusted saltines. Like it, there's no flavor. Oh, in it. the saltine challenge is a thing too. That's an old school challenge. That's a really old school challenge. I did. Uh, I did the saltine challenge. I did the cinnamon challenge, and I did the milk gallon challenge. Oh. You don't win that one. It's no, physically yeah. impossible. No, 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 no. <laughs> you, you end up throwing up. It's, it's great. Still unlikely to kill you, though. Key, key thing. Key thing. <laughs> key thing. Still safer than Tide Pods. <laughs> don't eat Tide Pods. They had to lock that shit for a while, dude. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, not, it's not as strict anymore, but there was a while there where... Like grocery stores have a lock that shit. Right? Isn't that like something that you as a grocery store owner would like would never even consider? Like you're like, alright, I sell this product. It's dangerous. Why not? But you know, people are not dumb enough to consume it, right? And then like a week later you're like, well, fucking I give up. I give up on people. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the milk gallon challenge? I didn't throw up? You took more than an hour then, because it's not possible. Uh, milk that's sitting out longer than an hour, though? That still sounds awful. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> like, I'd recommend the cinnamon challenge, which has a higher possible fatality rate uh, than the milk gallon one, just because of the pleasantness. <sighs> I give up on people. <laughs> Want to know what challenges I've done? Go for it. None. Absolutely none. Why no? At least do the saltine one. No. I've watched it's, people do them. It's I've like, even, it's, an ex, it's an experience. I've even seen people like get a shit ton of nutmeg powder. I don't know why you would do that. But it's supposed to get uh, temporarily high. I drink a gallon over the course of 30 minutes. No, you don't. <laughs> it was almond milk. I'm, I'm calling. I'm calling it bullshit. <laughs> I know I'm being nosy. I should leave her do her business, oh, yeah. but like a gamer. <laughs> I, I was waiting for the appropriate time to like get back in, but I continue messing up orders as I think of a plan. My tips suffered a lot today. I think I got an idea that'll make it worth it. Did Mason stick around? I bet she did. Sure enough, she left without as much of a word. This is supposed to be my girlfriend and she can't even be bothered to be like, Hey sweetie, I'm taking off. See ya. I made a few steps forward in communication, but there's bound to be some tripping. Hayes handles the kitchen cleanup. I know he offered because things are still weird with me and Mason. Good. It clears the front for the next stage of my plan. Like a secret agent, I slip upstairs and pull out the chocolate cake I've been eyeing all day. Mason considers it her specialty. I consider it heaven. Step one, box up cake. Step one and a half, I box up a second piece. You know, for me. Step one. Cut a hole in the box. <laughs> solid, solid. Thank you. 
consider it my finder's fee if this plan works out. If not, it's my preemptive consolation prize. Shove the boxes into a to-go bag, then dump the fistful of minions on top. That's step two, by the way. Step three, be cool. Step four, question marks. Step five, profit. Finish up my closing chores and scurry home. Take the other way home, the one that doesn't put me past the corner store. Don't want to invade anyone's space, not yet. Soon. Step four, try to sleep. <sighs> that one's gonna be easy. That one's gonna be very easy. Can't stop thinking about Mason. Maybe I'm meddling too much? But anything's gotta be better than what they're doing now. None of them are gonna take the first step. It has to be the right thing. Oh, so are we gonna like... Are we gonna like give the store owner a piece of cake? You're like, from Mason. Step five, sleep in. Do that part real well. I don't process my alarm until the third time it goes off. Good thing the cafe is lax about attendance. Anyway, it's part of the plan, I promise. Eat my slice of cake for breakfast. You know, gotta make sure it's still good the next day. Trust me, it is. So that's step whatever. The higher number of my steps get, the more my heart pounds. I'm pretty sure that's all the chocolate cake you fatty. That's straight sugar. I really hope this works. Delicious, delicious sugar. Okay, the actual step six. 100% sure Mason's up for work. That was the sleeping in part, see? Slip into the corner store. Sure enough, your grandpa's there, reading the paper. He glances up, but scowls and returns to the sports page. Here goes nothing. So, um... Got off on a bad foot the other day. I wanted to clear things up. What do you care about some old man's opinion? Don't care. <laughs> trying. Still trying. Don't care about you one way or the other. I appreciate that Mason's grandfather is Southern when Mason herself is not. I mean, it could skip some generations. <laughs> um... <laughs> it's, is the accent a recessive gene? <laughs> is that how this works? <laughs> yep. I don't know nothing about that. Um, <laughs> but I care about what you think I'm doing. I'm not having sex with your granddaughter. Uh, she's a cat most of the time. What do you think Mason is doing? Let's see where Mason got that gl glower. What's a glower? Glower from. Sends a Lower. Chip. Lower? Ah. Uh, flower. Cloud. Glower. Power. Nintendo power? <laughs> oh! Speaking of. Oh, okay. Never mind. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> but. Good <laughs> <the> story. <laughs> Get out. I can do this. I can stand my ground. Okay, okay, I will. Just wanted to give you something first. It's from her. From our work. I put the to-go bag on the counter and scoot it toward him. It's from yesterday, so the icing was a lot of uh, It's cocaine. <laughs> it's a big old bag of heroin. <laughs> it looks like he's already on it. But it's still good. You should know, I had some. Or, not from that piece, of course. Um, it include menus if I want to see what we do. It's a cat cafe. Like, if you like strays, you might like our cats, too. I've deflected his glare from me to the to-go bag. He's staring so hard, I think he might catch fire. I'll put the menu next to the bag. He doesn't move. His gaze sneaks over to the menu. I guess it's time to enact step seven. Withdraw coolly. Um, okay, that's all. <laughs> I'll go now, like, like, like you said. Bye. Smooth. <laughs> yep, that was cool. No use worrying anymore, I guess. 
completed my big plan. The final step is to see what happens. I wonder what he's thinking. Is he happy that Mason's got a good job now? And does it matter if he's still mad? I hope it did the right thing. I'd like to think that he like just took his fist and like pounded it into the bag. Just, Fuck this shit. But you know, he flips the counter somehow and then walks out. <laughs> Recent Landry's head snap up as the hair of the door. Oh, Avery. Thank goodness. I wonder if Landry's just kind of starting to just figure out, like, everyone's like, eh, it, you know, it's just fuck it. Everyone shows up late. This is how we are. Fuck it. <laughs> There's no discipline here. We haven't seen Graves in several days now. So, uh... <laughs> I was worried something had happened to you. This fucker. Uh, <laughs> Two tardies in a week. I'll have to talk to Graves about tightening up, tightening up the absence policy. <laughs> it's uh, it's no big deal, Reese. As long as nothing happened. You okay, Avery? Yeah. Uh, sorry. I slept through my alarm, but uh, I'm here and ready to go. Well, it's not entirely a lie, right? Mason's here, right? Everything okay? Yeah, I thought she was getting sick yesterday, but she said she feels fine. She's making some amazing pumpkin soup today. You should try it. <clears throat> Don't dip your grubby paws into the stock pot until you're on break. I mean, I'm technically not on the clock, um, but I haven't punched in. I'm the worst character in this game. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> oh no, hands down. The guy that takes his job way too seriously. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. Uh, he's the assistant manager. He's he's the assistant to, to the manager. The manager. <laughs> he's the Dwight Shrew. He's fucking Dwight. <laughs> Beyond that initial fuss, it's a quiet day. Making it feel ten million times longer by spending my time staring at the door. Is he going to show up? Is Mason going to get mad if he does? Arrgh! <laughs> we don't have a voice for Marina. Brains a lot of cats. Ah! That was my scared face there. some extra catnip in an apology, but I should know by now that it starts uh, feeding frenzy around these parts. Before I know it, I'm up to my neck in cats. Hash Browns is practically climbing up my pants to get the jar out of my hands. Then I hear it at the door. I nearly drop the jar. It's him. <gasps> don't, don't know. He actually came. Phrasing. Lewd. I'm so Sorry. excited. I'm so, so nervous. I slam the catnip jar on the table and wait through the circling cats to get to the door before Landry. Welcome. Welcome, sir. Happy to see you. Just coffee. Aha. You got it. Here, come take a seat. Kick, kick up your heels and relax like he hasn't been doing that all fucking day. Yeah, just, just coffee. I need to quell the death inside. <laughs> I need to feel something. Anything. Doesn't do the last part, but at least he follows me to the seat closest to the kitchen and settles in. What kind of coffee would you like? We have all sorts of varieties. Compliments of our barista. Do you like espresso? Cappuccinos, flat whites, mochaccinos, punk, punk, punkachinos. Is that? <laughs> Still don't know much about coffee, and I'm nervous. Okay, so I rambled a bit. Just coffee, nothing fancy. You got it, sir. Ah, it's on the house, by the way. Family discount, aka it's coming out of my paycheck. <laughs> 
case, give me that suit too. A special. Coming right up. Let's see, uh, it's the five finger discount, let's be real. While you're at it, get me uh, your most expensive cake. And I'll take one of them cats too. <laughs> the meowing one. Bound into the kitchen. Like I'm breaking up a wedding at the end of a rom com. Wanted to tell her so bad. Don't run in my kitchen. I'm sorry. Just a little wound up. We've got a special guest. Don't care about celebrities. Oh, it's something different. Uh, you'll see. Hmm. Order up. Okay, thanks, bye. <laughs> yes. Yes, that is how that line is read. <laughs> you are correct. <laughs> Grab the chain and cream back into the floor. <laughs> Mason's grandpa barely even looks up when I see the coffee and soup before him. It's a shame. I put a real good flourish on it, too. He does notice that I can't sense well, You know, like a flower or some shit. Oh, he <laughs> probably put one of those, like, little mini wooden umbrellas. In the soup? Or the coffee. In the coffee? Maybe. <laughs> he doesn't notice that I can't stop staring at him as he sips his coffee. Close your mouth. Let's see why I catch flies. Ha <laughs> ha! Right. Like uh, before, huh? Uh, um. I feel I feel like we finger gun at him as we walk away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <psh. laughs> Like, by aggressively cleaning all the tables around him. Like we're just trying too hard. <laughs> Stares at first, but gets used to it and ignores it. And ignores me. He just silently eating soup with a stone faced stare into the, into the distance. Is he watching the cats? I'm gonna pretend he's watching the cats. When I see him push the bowl away, I pounce. So, what'd you think? Great. Look at the chef so you can pay your compliments to her. her. But I'll stick around long enough to hear him object. Mason! Hey! Hey, Mason! Mason! Hey, Mason! You're right there! Mason! Mason! Hey! Fucking <laughs> <Okay>, what? <laughs> I'm right here. What? They got a problem? Ain't no problems with my cooking. No, I think you liked it. Come on. Grab her and pull her out of the kitchen. And this is where I get murdered. I barely got her out of the kitchen when I killed her freeze. She suddenly... She's suddenly as heavy as and as still as a statue. Her grandpa looks just as shocked. An eternity passes. I feel like I'm going to melt cut between their stairs. Mason looks pretty angry. Maybe I messed up. Maybe this is a mistake. She opens her mouth to say something. <gasps> Took my recipe. <laughs> Just doing what you taught me. Been here all this time? Yeah. Got your cake yesterday. Chocolate one. Still making the icing too sweet. Come over and I'll show you how to make it again. <gasps> Mason's never been one for a lot of words, but now she looks like she lost all of them. She stares at me, dumbfounded, and back at her grandpa. I. I better get back to work. Did I drive you off? Didn't mean to push you away. I was scared. Lost too many people like that, so I went too tough. Regretted every day. 
it wasn't you. I was bullheaded, too stubborn. I wanted to prove myself and let my pride get the best of me. See, she got a little southern to her. <laughs> trying not to. <laughs> really trying not to. <laughs> Grandpa does something I've never seen from him before. He smiles. The okay. whole day and a half uh, that I know him. Let's, let's, let's time out here for a second and can we discuss how creepy the smile is? Dial it back. Dial it back like a little bit. You went from like, like you went from like, like a zero expression to like an eleven. We need to take it back to like a five. <laughs> okay. And this high as fuck cat over here on the corner, on the couch. I like the one reading. Right here. <laughs> yeah. It looks like it looks like it just has a book out in front of it. Yep. Grandpa does, uh, he smiles, his eyes glimmer a bit in a glossy sort of way. Maybe it's the light. Clears his throat. <clears throat> I, I gotta work. Mason turns and takes unsteady steps towards the kitchen. Key lime pie. Make, make me key lime pie tomorrow. You know it's my favorite. Mason freezes in place. It's gotta be the lighting. Her eyes are also glittering when she turns around. Yeah. And with a forced march, she disappears back into the kitchen. I heave a sigh of relief, which is enough to remind her grandpa that I'm here. That <laughs> uh, you, some <sighs> slipper. You. What's your name? Uh, am I in trouble? Uh, Avery, sir. Avery. Thank you. I think we needed a bonehead to get moving. <laughs> b -b 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 bonehead. At any time, I'm just glad to help. Hope this means you'll talk more. Hmm. <laughs> you said this was on the house, right? Yep, you got it. Is everyone southern? <laughs> It's slowly just in the cats it's, will start trying it's it slowly along. it's slowly everyone <laughs> good come by sometime and I'll replay, repay the play, favor okay. y'all like donuts <laughs> love them sir because <laughs> he did a little cutesy eyes good <laughs> now I gotta get back to work can't keep the store closed could get used to taking lunch breaks though bye Avery Hi. He's gone and out the door before I realize I should have asked him his name too. Ah, crap. Guess I'll ask him next time I see him. Should go check on the other bonehead. Meanwhile, she's like holding a knife back here. Mason's hunched <laughs> over the counter, hands balled up in fucking, his face. Fucking Hayes is on the floor covered in blood. <laughs> <laughs> Hayes, no! <laughs> And so begins the new Danganronpa. <laughs> the door is just locked down. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Mason. <clears throat> she starts and turns away to start the suit. She's adamant about looking away, no matter how hard I try to get her attention. Really got your nose in this one. Couldn't leave it alone, could you? Just had to keep prying. I know I probably should have left it alone, but what if you never re uh, reconciled? I couldn't stop thinking about that. Like, what if it stayed as a lonely old guy with a cat he didn't know his granddaughter? That's too sad. I know it's going to be a long path from here, but... So nosy. So pushy. I freeze. My heart is going to jump out of my throat. I don't know how to react to that. My fight or flight instinct is going wild. But then she looks up. Oh shit, we got her. Logically, I know she has some emotions besides scowling, but seeing such a genuine smile from her, it's such a pleasant surprise. Couldn't help but smile back. You stubborn idiot. Thank you. Thank you.
Oh, that was... Eh. Uh, <laughs> no, that was a compliment. <laughs> of course. Glad I could be an idiot for good for once. <laughs> she actually laughing? She is. Before I could say anything, she turns away. Never gonna forget that expression. Maybe she used to smile like that all the time. Hope I get to see it more often. Get back to work. Day's not over yet. You too. If you slack off, I'm gonna steal all that Mont Blanc. You don't even like Mont Blanc. Is that a wine? I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. Ha ha. <laughs> but drink all of it. Fuck you. You don't know me. Glug, glug, motherfucker. <laughs> I stupidly putter around for the rest of the day. I barely even register what's happening. After a stress drain like that, nothing else could possibly get me all worked up again. Mason calls me to the kitchen at the end of the day. But she needs me to lend a hand. Lend my muscle to scrub in the soup out of the stock pot. Wait, I'm the worst person to ask. I have negative muscle. Ha 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 ha. Instead, I see her at the counter with two to-go bags. Huh? What's all this? Couple things. First, cookies for Granddad. Will you, um, will you go with me to take him to him? I can't carry him. Oh, yeah. You gonna go hang out there after work? Of course. Second one's for you. Made you dinner, so stop ordering takeout. You're gonna get scurvy if you keep eating nothing but pizza. Scurvy. Scurvy. <laughs> Arr. <laughs> Thanks, Nutella. Yes, we do plan on coming back. This is the regular thing again. It's happening. Woo! Ooh. I know, it was a long break. Long break indeed. Yes, I guess it was. Oh, thank you. Sorry, that's, he's not signed. Hold on. Pizza contains all the food groups, so I'll be fine. But I appreciate it. There's one more thing. Before I can even move my lips to form a question, she grabs my shoulders and pushes me into the wall. She's not too forceful, but it doesn't stop the pathetic yelp of surprise I make an impact. This is going where I think it's going. Oh, we're going to get some kitchen sex. Dang, she's she's the strong one in the relationship. Oh yeah, no, she's uh, she's the dominant one. That's for sure. <laughs> yep, she needs to bend to kiss me. I like that. I like all of this whole a whole lot actually. Her kisses feel like she's trying to force me onto the wall. There's gonna be a lot to keep up with. But I like that too. Come on, let's go. It's so romantic. <laughs> My love! <laughs> she pulls away and drops the to-go bags in my hands. Her steps take her to the, th the, th the, excuse me, the threshold of the door, where she stops, waiting for me. You got it. I barrel out the back door. A moment later, I feel a cat land on my shoulder. I don't know how she jumped that high, but it's Mason. I would like to think that she got a running start as a human and jumped, and then, like, as she went out the door, she, like, kind of, like, Mighty Morphin Power ranger into a cat. And then landed on your shoulder? And landed on his shoulder, yeah. Plus, I mean, obviously, yes. he's, after that kiss, I didn't realize that he was, like, a midget in comparison. Yeah, we'd be tiny. All right, to Grandpa's. Can I call him Grandpa? Hmm. So wait, can't she talk? She can talk as a cat, right? Like Yes. She has multiple times. So that this, is a good stopping point from what I end up. Yes. I, I was gonna ask, is there like still way more to go? Because I feel like that was a resolution. So um you finished Mason's personal story. There is one more arc. Okay. 
I guess we have to find out about Graves, right? It's <laughs> yeah, there's... Um, I don't know, there's kind of three arcs in the game. There's the intro arc, where you choose a story. Then there's the uh, character-exclusive arc. And then there is kind of a common arc at the end. It's a little different each time, but like it's a similar theme. Right, um, okay. Except for maybe Graves Route. I don't know what Graves Route is. It could be totally fucking different. But for everyone else, it works that way, where there's kind of three, three distinct arcs. Okay. All right. Well, then that works. Yeah, this is actually a good point to stop that. Uh, so with that, oh, Moobot's down because I haven't, I've been inactive <laughs> for so long. Yep, that's a thing now. Moobot, uh, Moobot doesn't love you anymore. Moobot has forgiven, forgotten. But. But stay hydrated, Bob. We'll stay with you forever. <laughs> really, really? <laughs> I mean, I haven't lost him yet. <laughs> nice. Solid. Uh, okay, so with that being said, everyone that's here, uh, if you're new to the channel, see what you like, please hit the follow button. Uh, I guess I'll just do a quick TV <laughs> backslash Wolverine. Boom. Uh, I probably spelled something wrong in there. Uh, nope, it went to me. We're good. All right, sweet. Uh, that would be Wolf Freak's channel. Wolfie, are you streaming anything the rest of the week? Um, not really. I don't have a whole lot of time anymore. Um, <laughs> but like when I can stream, I will. It's just not, not often. So I will guarantee be doing this every week because this is a priority for me. Cool. Um, but beyond that, like streams are going to be super sporadic until like December. Alright, that makes sense. <laughs> school's, school's out again. Yeah, right, so... Perfect, and uh, if you want to catch us on the Twitters, I'm at Lino87, he is at... Tess. Just go just go to my Twitch page, and there's a link under it. Perfect. Uh, and then, uh, to watch more of this, this is on every Tuesday night, 6pm Pacific. Uh, find out how that correlates to your time zone. Uh, thank you guys so much for stopping by, saying hi, talking with us. It feels good to be back uh, and drinking again. <laughs> Does that make you sound like a bad dad? Uh, it makes you sound kind of like an alcoholic, but that's okay. Yeah, well, you know. You gotta have fun somewhere. Anyway, everyone, have a good night. We love you very much. Bye-bye.